Make some noise for Jamie Gravy. New York City. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, from Texas, I just celebrated, uh, celebrated my first year in the city, and uh, it's a crazy city, man. Definitely a lot different than Texas. I don't even know if New York City is the only city in the world we get hit by a car and get yelled at for it. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's my fault, apparently. <laughs> like, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Apologizing, and whatnot. Uh, I got a, uh, I got a job as a server when I moved here because I'm a uh, 30 and kicking an ass. And uh, one, of those, one of those fancy restaurants, you know. Uh, we've recently been hiring all sorts of people and having open call interviews, you know, getting ready for the, uh, the busy season. So we're having all sorts of uh, people in positions getting hired left and right. You know, busters, you know, bag servers, and dishwashers. And I heard the way they're interviewing these dishwashers are so rude. It's like asking for like their resume. Like a dishwasher resume? What the hell are we talking about? <laughs> This is how long a dishwashing interview should go. Yeah, when can you start? Like, where are you even interviewing the guy? Like, like, he said he'll wash the dishes, just let him do it. <laughs> you have dirty dishes, he said he'll wash them. I don't know why. I'm... So they're asking all these dumbass questions, you know? They're just like, why do you think we could fit for this position? Because you don't drug test. <laughs> like, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, hopefully not washing fucking dishes. What are they expecting out of this process anyway? Someone just really blow them out of the water, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, I studied the art of dishwashing, you know? Like, <laughs> dishwashology, if you will. It's, uh, I actually mastered with a degree in the, uh, uh, you know, philosophy of dishwashing, you know? I've been in college, my college name was, uh, was Bubbles, you know? Like, <laughs> what makes a dish dirty? <laughs> if a dish doesn't think it's dirty, should we clean it? Is that what it means to be a happy plate? <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm crushing it with this lady. You come from a family of dishwashers? I said that joke one time, there's a dishwasher in the audience, he got pissed off and offended, you know, and I was like, so what are you doing? Out! Go home and save your money! <laughs> It's a sensitive time though for comedy. Everybody's getting offended nowadays. It's crazy. Just in general, you know, not just comedy, but it's the world. I don't know if y'all saw that Facebook article about that woman. She got upset seeing that mother breastfeeding in public. Yeah. yeah it was crazy, right? Which is ridiculous. I mean, there's nothing for me growing up seeing a baby get down on a set of tatas, you know, just <laughs> there's everyday stuff, you know? Weird. <laughs> Hell, the first pair of tits I saw were mom's friend Christy. She's breastfeeding her infant son. It's a big day for young men, isn't it? <laughs> First pair of boobs that aren't your mom's. You, know? you don't forget something like that. I was seven. My dad was proud of me because I was a man. Went to school the next day. There I was, seven years old, a fully grown man. I told everyone. Third graders, fifth graders, the janitor in the cafeteria. Over there in the corner of the lunchroom, laughing, cussing, and spitting, talking about titties. <laughs> half the school thought I was a god, the other half thought I was lying. The teachers, they called my dad. <laughs> like, sir, your son's going around school talking about boobs he saw over the weekend. My dad just goes, some cane, some cane. <laughs> Fucking classic dad, man. My hero, you know? Yeah, it's great. But people were chastising this woman that was mad at the public breastfeeding. They were calling her all sorts of names, saying she was just intolerant, you know, and, and ridiculous and overreacting. And I was like, well, I agree with this. I was like, let's take it easy on this hooter hater. You know what I mean? Like, oh, why, why should we chastise this lady just because she didn't want to see her breasts, you know? And what can I say? I like a good ditty. You know? I even a fucked up ditty just fun to look at. You're like, holy shit, look at this ditty over here. What the hell is going on? I mean, if somebody don't want to see breasts, and that's okay. They don't need. They don't. They shouldn't. Uh, you know, be forced to. We should be to take it easy on these people. I think it's always smart to play the devil's advocate in life. You know, see things from other people's perspective. Put the shoe in the other foot. You know, maybe she doesn't like seeing breasts, and that's fine. You know, if I'm putting the shoe in the other foot, I don't like seeing penises. It's not my thing. 
So I can understand this lady, you know, like what if I live in some parallel universe where instead of breastfeeding with the mom, well, okay, anatomy's different in this universe, okay? Biology's different. You never knew anything different. You did it. Your friends did it. Your dad did it with his dad. But if you're making this dirty, you're part of the problem. That's what I'm trying to say here. You get a chance at me because I want to see that in public. Am I going to go viral? If you're at a restaurant. Got a nice party plate of enchiladas. You're trying to enjoy them, but... Got this eyesore in your peripheral. This guy's just dick feeding his kid. You know, without a cover up too. Like, at least he can do is quick, you know, pitch a quick tent or something, an apron. You know, just over there. Yeah, we should be the like barbecue Saturday. I know. You know, Julie's excited. Should we bring anything? Chips, beer, dip. Oh, I know. He's getting big, isn't he? Uh, eating a lot lately. He's really. Oh, teething apparently. Okay, that's my big. Yeah, they grow so fast. You know, uh, oh, hey, he just spit up. Would you grab the towel? Takes after his mother. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm Jamie Gravy. Have a great night.